There's something so wonderful about growing your own herbs, especially when you get to use them in the kitchen. And the great thing about perennial herbs is that they come back year after year. And all you need is a window box to grow your own. Now, if you don't have a garden, then you might just have a balcony or a patio or even a doorstep. Something like this window box makes it very easy to grow your own herbs. So the first thing we're gonna do is fill this up with some multi-purpose compost. Now, when it comes to deciding what herbs you're gonna grow, the choice is yours. Now, what I love about growing herbs in pots and window boxes is when you have ones which like to spread a lot, like this mint or lemon balm, being in a container is just gonna contain the roots and it's not gonna take over your garden. So in this window box, I'm going to firstly start off with some thyme. And then I've got this lovely golden sage, which is gonna go in the middle there. And finally, I'm gonna put some marjoram here. Now, you might be really tempted to get other things like, oh, I can stick some lavender in here or maybe some more sage. But the most important thing is to make sure you don't cram things in because they want to grow, they want to mature, and they want to have lots of space for roots. One of the most satisfying things about gardening is planting out. And you're giving these plants a final home and it's very easy, just tap it out. And yes, we've got all of this compost building up, but we, what we're gonna do is press it down. So place it kind of in level with the compost level. This is the top of the roots here. And then bring the compost back around and then press it down. A quick tip for when it comes to taking a plant out of a pot, and it's got lots of roots, is to put your fingers over where the compost is and to not touch the stem or the leaves because this could damage it. Turn it upside down and then give it a firm tap like that. And then, in theory, it should slide out. And then again, just make a nice deep hole, place it down in the middle and secure it in. And then this is the margarine. But we haven't finished yet because like anything, when you're giving them a new home, you want to welcome them with a present. And the best present you can give them is a really good soaking. Now don't be afraid to give them a lot of water. They really do need a good soaking. And don't just do it so the compost looks wet underneath. You've got to make sure that the water is hitting the roots nice and deep. And then that's going to encourage the roots to go further down. Now the reason why I planted these slightly to one side, as you can see here, is if you have a window, this side here should be up against the window. So it's going to encourage the herbs to grow outwards and then you're going to have really nice strong plants and things like this thyme and also the marjoram are going to spread and the sage is the central focal feature which is going to give you that height so if you do have smaller windows then you might not want to grow sage because it's going to inhibit a lot of light coming through. For the first growing season, these plants are gonna be perfectly happy because they've got loads of nutrients from the compost. But because these are perennials and they're gonna be staying here hopefully for a few years, what you should start doing then, use an all-purpose liquid feed. Just follow the recommended instructions and you just use one of these caps, place it in, and then you dilute it 
in a load of water and I'd say do this about once a month to give them a nice boost of nutrients. Now if you're like me and you're really forgetful about what you've grown and you think you'll remember but by next week you've forgotten, you can use a plant label just to ensure you don't forget what you've grown. Now if you don't have a windowsill or you have something like a balcony or a fence or something like that, there's a really clever attachment which you can put a window box into, just like that, slot it in and this here means that you can hook it over a bit of fence or some railing. Everything you've seen in this video is available at your local Dobbies or at dobbies.com and good luck with your window box herbs. Just have great fun choosing what you want to grow and enjoy it.